Thank you for using IS Talk training videos for call forwarding an extension to a cell phone. You should log into the voice management portal through your web browser. If you do not have your portal login information, you can request this by sending an email to support at is-talk.com. That's support at is-talk.com. If you are not the site administrator, you will need to get the site administrator to email us and request the setup or change of the login. Now to the video. First you're going to do is go over to extensions on the left hand side. You'll go to the extension that you're wanting to forward to a cell phone. Go to enhance services all the way over here to the right. Then you will go to call forwarding. You're going to click on the edit tab. Then you're going to hit the unconditional and the plus sign and simply type in the cell phone number. You want to do it for about 23 which is about five rings and then you would click save. Okay, I'm going to go through that again and to turn it off I simply go here enhance services go to call forwarding and then I uncheck unconditional it will turn it off but does not take the data out okay while we're on this screen I want to explain a couple of other different forwarding options you have you can set the phone up to only forward to the cell phone if that extension is busy you can set it to forward only if you don't answer at the extension the benefit of that is um, if you you know you don't want to miss a call and you want to have an option to answer it on your cell phone before it goes to voicemail you could set it up the same way you would click on no answer hit the plus sign and then put in the cell phone number and then hit save and so anytime this phone rings sorry and you had to put in your seconds and anytime this phone rings it's going to ring at the desk then if they do not answer it's going to go out to the cell phone if they do not answer on the cell phone it will go back to the voicemail of the extension okay and again to turn it off you just simply uncheck it you don't have to remove any of the data uh, another neat feature is line unavailable and you can set that up for one extension you can set that up for all your extensions but it is a great little safety net if your internet is prone to go down during the day you could go in and you could set up line unavailable and the, so if your internet went down or the extension went down the system's automatically going to present the call to the cell phone for any reason if it's down um, that is a really neat feature to have especially if your internet or you go through a time when your internet goes up and down a lot so that's how you uh, would call forward an, an extension okay another thing to keep in mind when you call forwarding extensions if that particular extension is part of any of the incoming ring groups it, you know the system cannot distinguish between a call that's forwarded and a call that's just ringing to an extension all it knows is it's, it's ringing that extension if you happen to have that extension forwarded then the system is just going to ring that extension and it's going to go on with the forwarding so they would be getting the calls that would be coming into the ring group as well on their cell phone so if you're going to have someone who's just you know going to be answering calls to their extension from their cell phone and they are part of an incoming ring group you would want to remove them from that group and there is another video uh, that we did that does explain how to add members and take members out of the ring groups all right thank you so much for watching